In part one, we looked at the game Snake RX and we tried to mimic a movement of a snake in Unity so that we could have different prefabs be the body parts and the snake would be able to move around a screen as it does in the game. This is Porter Nelson with Random R Attack and today we're going to be doing part two in which we add functionality to the snake. We're going to be adding the ability to dynamically grow the snake with a press of a key. So for example, as I press different keys, you can see that the snake's body grows and I'm able to add different prefabs at the time. Also, we're gonna talk about how to dynamically update the snake if body parts are deleted. So for example, if I remove a body part here, I'm able to go back in and then the snake will kind of knit itself back together. So this is what we're going to be talking about. Let's get to it. When last we left off, we had two scripts. We had a script called Marker Manager and a script called Snake Manager. Today, we're not going to be touching the Marker Manager at all. It's basically done. But the Snake Manager, we have to start to put some things in to basically update the body of the snake as it goes. So the first thing we want to do is basically create a way to check to see if any of the body parts have been destroyed, if they're gone. And if they are, remove them from the list and basically update it that way. So let's go ahead and go to the script. And here we are. I've added a script called manage snake body right here. And so within this script, let's go ahead and go through this so that you can see the functionality. We do a for loop for int i equals zero, i is less than the snake body count, i plus plus. So basically we're going through the whole snake body which represents all the different body parts of the snake. It says if the snake body at reference i is null, so equals equals null, then we're going to remove that body part at i. So snake body dot remove at i. And then I say i equals i minus one. So we're actually going backwards and trying this again because as we're shrinking the list, then all of those references um, get messed up. And if I keep on just iterating like normal, like I did up here, then it's going to skip things. So I'm basically going back one more step and then checking the body again. Okay, so I'm checking if, if the body's null. If so, I remove it and I go back. And then I say, if snakebody.count equals equals zero, then I destroy this. So basically, if there is no body, I destroy the snake manager because it's dead. There we go. Now, I need to put this in the fixed update, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But before I do that, I look up here. This is also in the fixed update, the if body parts dot count is greater than zero, create body parts, right? Why don't we just put this in the manage snake body function so that we don't have to have all this code. So just copy and paste it right here. And now if I type in, um, What's the name of it? Manage snake body. Here, sorry. Like that. Now it already takes care of this portion that we had last time. And it's basically checking the snake uh, and making sure that it's um, whole. If I ran this, this script, I'd be able to now basically delete a body part and it would stitch back together. Let's look at what that looks like. All right, we're back in Unity. I'm going to hit play and let's look what happens. You can see here's my snake as normal. I'm looking at the scene so that I can be zoomed out a little bit more than my, my actual screen here. Let's pause this. As I delete body parts, so I'll delete this, watch what happens because now there's a hole in the in the list that's null our script will go through remove that and basically stitch everything up as if um, it should be one one place in the list more um, basically the reference is just getting plus one to all these things so let's look at that let's unpause this and do you see how it stitches back together and now it's whole let's look at it a little bit more complex let's delete that one Let's delete several like this. Let's delete this one here. Now watch how this stitches back together when we hit play. And now our snake is whole again. 
It really was that easy. How cool is that? All right, let's move on. We are back in the Snake Manager script and we've added one function at the very end. So everything is the same in the Snake Manager script, as you can see, except at the very end, we're adding this function called add body parts. Now, don't get confused with create body parts. That's where we're creating the snake. But what add body parts does is basically adds it back to the body parts list so that the create body parts can pull from this list and basically instantiate the different parts that we want instantiated, okay? So we say public void, add body parts, and the input is a game object that we're gonna call obj object. Now, all you have to say is body parts, which again is the list that we pull from in the creation of our snake body. So body parts dot add obj. That's it. What this script will do, and since it's public, is I can create new scripts that will reference my snake manager, and I can add dynamically different prefabs to the body parts list. I then can take those those um, part those prefabs in that list, and then using all the code we already have, create body parts will be run in the in the fixed update right here where it says manage body parts. Remember, it's gonna create body parts if the body parts count is bigger than zero. And so this is a really slick way of just interfacing with this script. So let's look at how we might use this function in a different script to create body parts dynamically. We're gonna press the keys one, two, three, four to create four different prefabs. So first of all, go ahead and create another script. In Unity, let's go ahead and create a new script. So right click and hit create C sharp script and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it something like add body dynamic. All right, now let's go back into that script and start to add some functionality. So here we are in the script itself. You can see that I've already added scripts, so we're gonna go over this. And I basically added it seriously from top to bottom. The first thing I did is I added three game object variables and put those as serialized fields so that we can edit those in Unity. So the first one I say serialized field game object obj1. So object one basically. Serialized field game object obj2, obj3, and four. So now I have these four things that I'm going to spawn eventually. I also want to reference the snake manager. So I'm gonna say snake manager snake m as a variable. And I'm going to, in the start function, basically say snake m equals get component snake manager. So what that means is the add body dynamic script must be on the snake manager so that it can get the component snake manager from um, the prefab, basically, that we're adding this to. So, so far, we just set it up, got the four objects. We have the snake manager found. And now what we do is we say, okay, if input key down is one, and you could do anything you want. I'm just basically showing you how I might do this. So if you press the, the one key, I'm going to say snake M, because that's my manager, add body parts obj1. So this was, this add body parts, was the new script that we just barely put in, if you remember, into our snake manager. And so now it's calling it using the reference to the snake manager. And what this will do is basically put the obj1 into the list to be created into the snake body. Now I do the same thing. If you press two, um, object two will be added to the body parts. If you press three, object three, if you add four, object four, etc. And that's it, this is the script. Now you could do it a lot of different ways, but I'm just showing you if you want to add body parts dynamically, here's one way to do it. So let's go ahead and go back into Unity and see what that looks like. Now that we're back in Unity, what we need to do is add the add body dynamic script to the snake manager like such. And you can see that these four objects are empty. So what I wanna do is go ahead and grab a prefab. I'm gonna lock this so that I can click different things. So prefab, let's do one is red, two is green. Let's do three is a black circle and four is a white arrow like such, okay? Now, if I hit play, 
I'll be able to move my snake like normal. And then if I hit one, two, three, or four, you'll see that, well, let's just show you. Here we go. So here I can still move my snake just fine. Now that it's been added, I'm going to hit one, three times. One, two, three. And you can see that it basically just added three red um, body parts. Now you could hit any combination that you want. And you can see that it just adds the body parts into the queue and it works perfectly. So this is how you can add functionality to dynamically increase or update if the body parts fall off too. So this is great. All right, we're done, short and sweet. I hope that you enjoyed this. Please give us a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Also consider being a patron if you want access to all these files. My gold patrons got early access to this video itself and they got access to a lot of really cool files. Um, well done, I put some annotations on it and I also gave some new scripts such as how to make a snake game. So it's really cool if you want access to that, become a patron. Awesome, have a great day, see ya.